My name is Mike Smith. I'm the founder and executive director of Skate for Change. I was a typical kid. I grew up in a small town and my senior year of high school kind of just knew that I wanted my life to mean something, but I wasn't sure what it looked like and I didn't really know where to go. I just knew that I wanted to help people. So a few years ago, I took a job as the director of homeless outreach with a nonprofit that works with at-risk teenagers. And I, I began recognizing all of the homeless people that lived on the streets in my city. You know, I'd see them in alleys, under bridges, and bus stops, or gas stations. And I just became aware of the problem that existed in my city. And so for me, I just made a commitment that every Tuesday, I was basically gonna walk around and just distribute things like socks and bus passes and food and hygiene kits, whatever I could get my hands on. And then I realized it's a lot faster if I start skating around as opposed to just walking. And so as I was skating around downtown, just distributing things, one of my friends saw me skating and he asked if he could join. And I thought, yeah, of course. And so basically it was just me and a friend skating around, giving out socks and food and water. And we called it Skate for Change. And eventually kids started to hear about what we were doing and I started getting bombarded with young people asking me if they could join us. And I just thought to myself, what, what an amazing opportunity for me to involve kids in something that I'm so passionate about. You know, and at first it started with a couple kids showing up and then a few more and a few more. And then all of a sudden there'd be 40 high school, you know, skateboarders on a street corner ready to go give out the things that they had in their backpacks. You know, and these kids would get socks or food or t-shirts that they had worn, but they were willing to give up. And it was incredible for me to see all of these skateboarders so committed to giving back and having an impact on our community. And at first we were just giving out socks. And then eventually the homeless population began to kind of expect us to show up every week. And I would watch these 14, 15, 16 year old skateboarders build relationships with these guys who had lived on the streets for five, 10, 15 years. And, and it, was, it was amazing to watch just the, the transformation that happened, not only in, in the lives of the homeless people. You know, we were doing good things, we were giving back, but I watched these kids you know, start to think about ways they could have an impact on their community. Before we knew it, Red Bull got a hold of it, and then Ryan Sheckler got a hold of it, and we had an opportunity to have, you know, Ryan fly to Nebraska to come and be a part of a Skate for Change event. You know, he showed up in Lincoln, we gave him a backpack full of, you know, stuff, and he basically skated around with me and my crew, and we just gave out socks and food and water to the homeless, and we showed him what it was like for, you know, people on the streets of Lincoln, what it was like for, you know, our homeless community to live outside, and he basically just got a first-hand look at what that experience was like. From, from that episode and from that event of him coming and skating, it led to you know, opportunities that just continued to grow with me to get to know other professional skateboarders and had opportunities to meet you know, new people and continue to push and progress just this idea of what Skate for Change was. And then before we knew it, chapters started popping up all across the country. It went from Lincoln to Omaha to Des Moines to Kansas City to Chicago to Seattle to New Jersey to New Mexico to Los Angeles and San Diego and Toronto. And it was incredible just how fast Skate for Change began to grow and it all started from this idea of can you take something that you love, something that you're passionate about, and use it as a means to giving back. You wanna have an impact on your community? Look at what you have. I mean, take the thing that you're most passionate about, the thing that you love to do most, and take it from a passion and give it a purpose. Use that as an opportunity to have an impact on someone other than yourself. You know, everyone's quick to, to retweet something, to use a hashtag, to share an inspirational video on Facebook. But it's, it's more than that, it's bigger than that. Awareness means nothing if there is an action involved with it. You know, you've gotta get your hands dirty. You've gotta get in there and you've gotta find what you're passionate about and you've gotta get up and, and do the thing that you love. It's bigger than just falling in love with the idea of something. You've gotta fall in love with the action of it. You know, the thing that's great about Skate for Change is it's simple, any kid can do it. If you've got an extra pair of socks, if you've got an extra couple bucks in your wallet, you have an opportunity to make an impact on your community. I mean, I think the most important question we can ask ourselves is, what do I have to give? and give it.